I don't know. I lost track of them when the chimney crashed. We can get away through the tunnel to the railroad siding. Come on. We'll search the place. This is one more score. We've got to even up with the G-man. Trigger got one of them first, anyway. Yeah, but not the right one. We've got to get Tracy. And I'm for bumping him off now. We'll get our chance one of these days. But right now, we need cash. How's your job with Trendle? OK, I'm the regular driver on truck number six. What about your helper? Oh, he's OK. He'll play along. Then we're all set. I'll fix up a note to Trendle. You want me to deliver that note? Yes. And when you do, tell Burton to stick around. In case Trendle calls in the G-men, we want to know what their plans are. OK. Trendle is in trouble. Extortion. How was this note delivered? He found a pen with a knife to his office door. Any fingerprints? Not on the note. Steve is looking over the knife. Find anything? Take a look. There's a fragment of wood sticking to the half. Hmm. It's all fine and paraffin. Must be from a match. It's been chewed on. The owner of that knife is a doodler. 
See what else you can dig up, Steve. I'll go see Mr. Trendle. Come on, Mike. Have you any idea how they intend to carry out these threats? No, I haven't. I have 60 to 100 trucks on the road all the time. They could easily be hijacked or wrecked. The biggest contract I have is with the government to carry supplies to repairmen, reconstructing the Riviera Dam, which is badly leaking. The man I chased across the lumberyard died before I could question him or find out who he was. But these things found in his possession might help. Hello, a map. Why, it's a map of the Riviera Dam. The Trendle trucking route runs across the valley below the dam. And this road leads to the spillway. Anything happening to the Riviera Dam would wash out all the roads. Trendle would be forced to shut down and forfeit his government contract. But the guy we was chasing, maybe he was the only one behind the extortion. I don't think so. He was only a stooge sent to spy on Trendle. Unless I miss my guess, we're still dealing with the starts. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is station KDTR, broadcasting our regular 15 minutes of personal messages. This is a special feature of our station. Our first message is from Mr. L.C. Trendle. The answer is no. The Stark gang may or may not go ahead with their plans. Anyway, I've arranged with Mr. Trendle to ride one of the trucks tomorrow to see what happens. Gee, maybe there'll be some fighting. Can I go along, Dick? No, it's no place for a youngster. Mike, run Junior over to school, will you? Well, that's that. We'll go ahead. You boys know what to do. No, we can do it, all right. We can put them out of business. And what good's that gonna do us? They're gonna do us any good this time. But we got to let people know we don't bluff. When we make a threat, we mean business. Your nerve. You'll take the last truck out. Wilson has been driving for me ten years. He can be trusted. All right, Mr. Trendle. I'll contact you as soon as we reach camp. Thank you.
casually. We take on extra ones now and then. It's only a plugged gas line. Oh, you sure you can fix it all right? Oh, yeah. We'll be along in a few minutes now. A guy on number six. Is he always chewing on matches? Yeah, when he ain't whittling them. Why? Dynamite? Yeah. All you've got to do now is leave the truck on top of the dam and light the fuse. That'll fix Trundle's road for him, all right. Everything's set. Let's go. Put up your hands. Now turn around. Get over there with him.
brakes. 